Hi there and welcome to this short introduction of our 9.4 beta release of our TechSquid tool. A couple of adjustments, a couple of extra features added. First of all the text input. It's now a pop-up window. You can drag this one around. You can alter the amount of rows with the slider over here. I'm going to reset the colors for now. And you can just fill in the words you would like. So, test, text, fun, just add another one. Yeah, press run. And there it already pops up. If your spacing slider Unfortunately, this spacing slider only works with the one-on-one -on -one ratio. The whole rewriting involves a lot of annoying mathematics. So I'll probably add this one in the version 5 beta release, but for now the spacing works just fine with the one-on-one -on -one ratio. The speed animation itself you can also stop it of course the color picker also draggable press the bucket first pick a color these are the colors you can put in your history by pressing this one so if you find a color you like you think you're going to use it for future picking just place it in your history timeline so you can paint around by pressing on the characters or the backgrounds like this set it aside Pick one colors from the history palette. You can also click the space in between, so it will color that one as well. Nice green color. Here are your white and gray values. So, white and black. Just paint around to make a colorful composition. Let's speed it up again. Close it for now. We have this fix section, and this basically tells us which rows or columns you would like to be fixed. So, in this situation, the Y, so that would be the rows, are fixed for every character in that specific row. So, this entire row, the height, will be the same. Same for the third one, the second and the first. The switches to fixed for both and then you'll end up in the pattern we have in an earlier beta release. But the thing with the alignment is changing because this pattern is more suitable for spreading out the word entirely. So if you like to have the columns fixed as well, it has to fill in a gap. So this pattern is more suitable for perfect square kind of texts. But you can also pick a color picker again. Take this one and press the bucket. 
just fill in the gaps. So now you have just this empty spot around here. If you want to have this fun set aside one step, just go back to your font section. Oh no, that's not the font section, your text input. And just place a space behind here and it will add this extra step to your color picker again. Buckets. And there we are. So your Y fixed section pattern, I think it's more suitable for a non square, perfect square kind of amount of characters. There's also the X fixed, so you have more randomness in the height. It's also a fun pattern. It's not, not very legible in my opinion, but let's try if you can fill in a perfect square. Something we used to do in the past. Let's see your body next to me. Four rows, four characters per row, run. Gives a fun effect. Let's see, feeling a different color for the spacing. Play it again. So back to this one again. Last input, the font section. You can load a font file or you can press this drop down menu, pick any installed fonts like this one and it will change immediately. Gives a different vibe. I personally like the uh, area black a lot because it's nice and fat but there are a lot of other like this web thing stuff can also be quite fun or the let's see the material material where is it material design icons i think it's empty now yeah, you have to fill in these codes. Leave it in area black for now. Let's see, like I mentioned, ratio. Fortunately, the spacing isn't working for the other ones. But I'll fix that anytime soon. The width, you can change this one. It's, it's only changing the actual render width and not the window width because this width is connected with a couple of other parameters so if you like if you would like to change this manually it will mess up other parameters in this network you can have a look in this network let's go to our main window the render window is just over here. So if you change this one to like say a thousand, it will change this render section, but it leaves the window size intact. If you like to adjust the window section, just go over here to your main project. And of course the heart of this animation lies within the noise. 
So this noise drive this animation and you can just change this anything you like period spread just play with it so that's for now for our introduction of our beta release hopefully you enjoy Playing with text, kinetic topography. We have a couple of extra tools we're planned for the future, so please like and subscribe to stay up to date. And we'll catch up next time.